Imagine being able to look behind the curtain of reality, not in a movie, but inside a real laboratory. This idea has fascinated scientists and the public for a very long time. For more than 100 years, physicists have struggled with something called the observer effect. It suggests that simply watching a particle can change how it behaves. This idea sounds strange, but many experiments have supported it. The act of measuring was believed to disturb the very thing being measured. In the quantum world, particles behave like waves of possibility. When measured, those possibilities collapse into a single outcome. For decades, this collapse was seen as a major problem. Scientists lost valuable information the moment they tried to observe it. Recently, something unexpected happened in a quantum laboratory at Google. A mystery that lasted generations suddenly became measurable and predictable. Using a powerful quantum processor, researchers observed particle behavior within 5 nanoseconds. That is faster than anything achieved before. Even more impressive, they could predict how those particles would behave next. This was not a theory or a simulation. It was a real experiment using real data. The results surprised even experienced researchers. The most shocking part was that the particles were observed without being disrupted. The observer effect no longer acted as a barrier. Instead of being a problem, it became something that could be controlled. Observation turned into a useful feature. The experiment ran on a superconducting quantum chip. This chip was cooled close to absolute zero. Such extreme cold allowed fragile quantum states to last longer. Normally, these states vanish almost instantly. In older experiments, observation caused wave functions to collapse right away. That collapse erased information scientists wanted to study. Google's team tried a different approach. They used entanglement-based probes to gently follow particles in motion. At the same time, the system predicted future states in parallel. Observation and prediction happened together in real time. This blurred the line between watcher and watched. Measurement became part of the system itself. Instead of interruption, observation became cooperation. The act of watching helped guide the system. This single shift changes how quantum physics can be used. The observer effect moved from limitation to tool. The idea connects back to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle from 1927. That rule still applies, but it allows smarter measurement. In the 1980s, researchers dreamed of active observation. The idea existed, but the technology did not. Google spent years building hardware that could respond instantly. This made active measurement possible. Rather than taking a snapshot, the system listens and responds. It works more like a conversation. From this came a new way of thinking. Observation may be a bridge instead of a barrier. By watching continuously, scientists can gently steer quantum states. Errors can be corrected before they fully appear. This could make quantum computers far more stable. It may also reduce the need for heavy error correction later. Quantum sensors could benefit as well. They might adjust themselves mid-measurement for higher accuracy. During testing, researchers noticed something unusual. Particles observed for longer became more stable. The system seemed to remember it was being watched. Scientists called this self-referential coherence. At first, they suspected a hardware problem. Repeated tests showed the pattern remained. Different quantum platforms were tested next. Photonic systems showed even stronger feedback effects. This suggested the behavior was not a design flaw. It hinted at something deeper in quantum physics. Some researchers believe this points to hidden layers of reality. Smarter observation may help explore them.
Others remain cautious and ask for more proof. The debate is active and ongoing. Another key part of the experiment involved artificial intelligence. Quantum hardware was paired with deep learning systems. The AI studied massive amounts of quantum data. It learned how qubits react under many conditions. Live data flowed back into the AI during the experiment. The model updated itself in real time. The AI did more than predict outcomes. It discovered new control methods humans had not designed. This was not simple automation. It was co-evolution between AI and quantum systems. Such systems could transform many industries. Drug discovery, material science, and climate modeling may change. Instead of slow trial and error, discovery becomes faster. Systems learn directly from fundamental rules. The universe responds through feedback. Some physicists believe this marks a new era of physics. Measurement becomes dialogue, not disruption. Quantum systems can correct themselves mid-process. Stability increases naturally. Google's experiment did more than solve a problem. It changed our relationship with reality. We are no longer just observers. We are participants in shaping what we see. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.